What's going on Spartans? Welcome back. We have a really fun video today. It's going to be very helpful to a lot of people. Number one, uh, the major thing that's going to help is people who are just starting out, low level people. I'm telling you how to get your third builder for free. So here it is. All you got to do is get 1,250 trophies in multiplayer battles and you get 450 gems, which is almost enough on its own to get that third builder. So guys, if you're starting over on your mini accounts, or if you're thinking about starting a new mini account, but you don't want to put money in, but you want a third builder quick. I got my third builder in like a week of actual gameplay. I don't even think it took that long, to be honest. All you have to do to really get those is actually just push a little bit. So what you need to do is build up a bunch of archers and a couple goblins. And all you need to do is just keep town hall sniping and finding easy bases with 50% of the base outside the walls and away from defenses. And then all you got to do is kill them and you get 1250 trophies really quick as you can see here got that third builder put down that's super exciting though guys this really allows me to increase my base expansion really quickly because it's an extra 50 percent building power so now i'm able to do another cannon and i'm gonna be a maxed out town hall four by the time i hit town hall five in two days time so that's really exciting here's how i got there though as you can see look at this a couple buildings on the outskirts are really easy to pick off and then the town hall is actually outside of the walls now you're probably saying, well, that mortar looks like it might be in range. Isn't that risky? Well, yes, a little bit it is, but I knew I could get pretty much 50% outside of the base. And then I knew I could really easily bulk up around that town hall and distract the mortar. And look at that. There we go. Destroying all those bombs. First things first. You got to make sure you do that. And that's what I use my goblins for. They're so fast. They don't even get hit by the bombs. And they can pretty much pull any trap out of the ground real quick. Now, dropping the clan castle over here, take out this archer tower because I do want to kill that. And, of course, the cannon, if possible, just because they are going to be hectic. I only have two loons, though, and it looks pretty bad for me, to be honest here. This air D is doing some heavy work on my balloon, and we do get that last cannon there when the balloon drops, which is nice. 30% of the base has already been taken. We already have the archers cleaned up, as you can see, around the outside. We still have troops left, guys. This is not even going to take all of our troops to get. You can see we already have 45%. I didn't even need to drop those troops down, but I did just for fun. And we're going to easily clear out this 50% without any issues. So if you guys have any questions on how to do this, how to push, there you go. It's a very reasonable force. It's garching. Even with level 2 archers and goblins, you could still wipe out 2-star bases. And this guy's got gold walls. He's got a wizard tower. He's obviously a level town hall 5 for sure. And uh, yeah, just honestly, guys, not that hard to do. It's really easy nowadays to get your first 500, 600 gems. Especially with the way that the trees come and how you get gem boxes. You easily can get 50 gems in your first week just from gem boxes alone. I think I got like 75 on that. And I actually just spent it to like boost my barracks a couple times. But not a big deal. Definitely glad I got that first builder hut that I could buy. And now I'm going to go for the next builder hut. And I think the next goal will be to upgrade to Town Hall 6. And then once we get there, if we have like level 4 archers, I think I can get to Champions League. Which I might try and do as a Town Hall 6. Or a town hall seven we shall see what happens there guys and at that point we'll be able to show you how to get that fourth builder really easily and maybe even the fifth by that time i'm gonna keep saving these gems up though show you one more replay and we'll call it a day actually i might show you a couple on just speed replays here we go we're gonna just launch into this at high speed but just crushing this base i can't believe these loons when they died didn't kill any of those archers uh clan castles at high level clan castles can really mess up a raid especially since they have max level archers and I have level 2. Max level archers are so hard to kill if you have level 2 archers. They just don't do enough damage to them. So it's really rough, but it goes really, really quick. And uh, as you can see, at that 39%, looks like we're not going to be able to get that 50%, unfortunately. And the reason being was that clan castle wiped out a ton, a ton of my archers. But it is really, really close. Now, if you guys want to see something really epic, stay tuned for Wednesday's video. And of course, tomorrow's video too. But Wednesday's video will have something that I've never seen before. It was an Archer Tower glitch, which is insanity. So 48%, and there is seven trophies, guys. So awesome, awesome raid. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below what you thought. And I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.